So hello, my name is Rob, and this is Cattle Rabbit Scale Model Studios. And in this video, we're going to be drinking tea, and we're going to be taking a look at the Dark Star Molten Metal Metallic Galaxy Bundle. This is a complete set of 40 metallic paints, not all metallic, you get some washes and some gemstone paints in there as well, and a little bottle of thinners. Um, but I was really impressed with this set. Uh, it was sent to me by the kind people at Dark Star, so thank you very much for sending this out. But I was so impressed, I thought, Do you know what? Let's do a video on it because I know metallics are a little bit of a contested thing. A lot of people are okay with some. A lot of people find it difficult to work with some. When a company specifically does one thing, it makes life a lot easier because they tend to be really good at that one thing. Um, as always, I'll leave links in below, description, all that good information. I'm not affiliated by these or anything like that, but I will leave links to if you want to get your own to their website. And obviously like and subscribe all that good stuff so without further ado let's get started there is a few things to note that there are 40 70 ml bottles they're water-based uh, they stay nice and bright you can buff them which means you can polish them afterwards and they are suitable for an airbrush you get 40 paints in general one of those being an, a, uh, a metal thinners but some of the colors are absolutely stunning and it's really nice to have such a wide variety of metallics all in one place so one thing you will also notice is that I actually haven't opened this yet and that it comes in a hard shell case. Now, I've never bought paints before or a paint set that has come in a hard shell case. I really, really like this. So I wanted to kind of get a bit of an honest reaction as I opened it up. So as you can see, we've got this really, really nice case. No markings on it or anything like that, which I can kind of appreciate. It's hard shell, which means it's nice and durable. And if we just open it up, we can see all our paints are there. Now you've kind of got this nice little compartment here. So if you are, if you travel a lot, or maybe you want to keep your little toolkit or your you know, paints that you use all the time in one place, this is really, really cool. You could also put like a little box of models in there or something like that. Just something to keep you going. I, I like it. I think it's a nice little touch. It's also got this little foaming that, you know, you could kind of chop up or replace if you wanted to. It's just a nice option. The foam inside is actually removable, so you can take it out if you need to. So let's get the paints out and actually have a look at them themselves. Now, this comes with, I think, 27 metallics, a bottle of thinners. Uh, you've got four washes and eight gemstone paints. They come in these really cool 17 mil uh, dropper bottles. Dropper bottles, obviously, always a good thing. And they come with built-in agitators as well. Once again, something I really, really appreciate. I do like it when dropper bottles have the agitators built into them. Makes it really, really easy to maintain the paint. Also, no pesky seals or anything like that. You can squeeze these straight out and they are ready to go straight from the, the bottle. So let's get the rest of them out and take a look at them. So everything's out. I've divided them into brass, coppers and gold, silvers, washes, gemstone paints. But start with comes with a little bottle of thinners so it doesn't matter if you use an airbrush or you're a bit of a brush warrior uh, you can actually use these paints straight away from this set and it does give you everything you need to dial it down into an airbrush I don't use an airbrush so I don't really know how much it works um, but it comes with it and I thought that was a nice touch onto the washes it comes with a sepia almost like a black wash a brown wash and a reddish wash uh, very much down the same vein of Reichland flesh shade uh, is, is a good example I suppose Nice that the washes come with it. I really can appreciate that it comes with everything to kind of darken and work with the models. Obviously you've got four different tones on top of 27 different metallics there. I'm not gonna do the maths quickly, but that's a lot of different colors. Then we've got the gemstone paints. Once again, really nice, bright, vibrant, shiny paints. Um, I'm a big fan of the gemstone ones that Citadel make. Uh, I do wish they would do more colors and this is kind of the answer to my prayer. Uh, the Jade, a particularly very nice colour, and Moonstone, also Tourmaline, very, really nice, bright red, can really appreciate that. But then onto the metallics themselves. Now, once again, there's 27 metallics, ranging from just like a normal silver, which is, you know, really, really bright silver, almost like in its rawest form. Blue Steel, hey, real ones, no. Um, all the way through to a pewter, there's a gunmetal, um, there's tarnished versions, there's blackened versions, there's antiquated versions, and you know, there's just a colour for literally everything you can think of straight out the bottle. 
combined with the washes that come with the set and there probably isn't a silver or metallic color here that you couldn't make up which to me is a staggering thing to have achieved really really like them um very cool colors once again same with the golds brass and coppers the amount there is is just staggering there's colors for absolutely everything from baroque to kind of like renaissance gold there's victorian gold there's royal gold you know there's copper that it's they've just really covered such a broad range which color wise obviously at first glance is a really impressive thing this one is a particular favorite of mine uh victorian gold really really like that you kind of get an idea just how much is in this set and how many colors are available to you so there we go but i mean long and short it's all well and good saying we've got nice bottles with agitators built in and hard shell cases how do the paints actually perform now i wanted to test them all out um but obviously i don't have 40 models to kind of paint them up so what i decided to do was make a bit of a color swab so what i've done is i've got a bit of plastic card i sprayed it black with a little bit of white on as you'll see and i'm going to paint them all directly on and see how we get on so all I did was squeeze out each one, swipe it across, and then move on to the next. There was a tiny bit of separation I noticed, but I'm pretty sure that's because I it's a lot of washing your brush out and there was a bit of more moisture in some than others. Um, I will go back and play around with these and test them a lot more. Um, something I really like doing behind the scenes, but I've already picked out quite a few colors that I really like and just go on really, really well. So there we go, that is my color swap done. Obviously I've got the individual colors to my left. Then what I've done is one coat, two coat and three coat of some of the bigger colors, which were quite similar to other brands. As you can see here, I've listed them all in order that they're listed on the back of the box as well and written down what they are. This is gonna sit next to me. I really like doing stuff like this, it's really helpful. Then what I've done is I've also streaked down the wash. I haven't been particularly neat about it as I wanted to see how it pulled and how you got the different shades. But obviously these kind of represent, which would be Retributor, Lead Belcher, Rune Fang. There's a really nice copper, and then there's the Victorian brass on here. Or Victorian gold, I believe. Uh, really, really nice. And then you can see the gemstone paints. Once again, really nice high shine to them. Now, one thing that you can also do with these, which is pretty impressive, is once they're fully dry, you can actually polish the paints themselves and actually buff them up to a higher shine. I didn't get a chance to do that while I was making this video, uh, as I do recommend that you let the paints cure for about 24 hours. Um, but what I will do is I will go back and do some tests and polish some of these paints up. And I'll probably put it in a little community post. So if you are interested, uh, I'll try and link the community post to the pinned comments or something at a later date once I've got it. All in all, these paints gone really, really easy, and a lot of them are pretty much one coat, especially over black, and that's why I chose to go with a black primer. Find a one coat paint system, especially with metallics and things like gemstone paints, which sometimes can be a big speculation of, I guess, debate. I really, really like these. Um, once again, I think they do one particular thing, and I think they do it really, really well. So if you are in the market for paints, especially metallics, or maybe you don't get along with a certain range, I would definitely suggest you try Dark Star Molten Metals. Really, really impressed with these. I can't wait to add these into my hobby toolkit. I will just say briefly, and I always do this as a disclaimer for paint videos, every paint is the worst, every paint is the best. It's okay if someone likes something and you didn't, and it's okay for someone not to like something that you did. Paint is very subjective. I just had a very good time with these paints. So if you are in a market for metallics, definitely pick these up. That's it for me in this one. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. God bless and take care.